Hello everybody, it's me, Carl Collins. Happy Wellness Wednesday here on OneThing.tv. I don't know why I'm doing an outro voice, but I am. Uh, <laughs> you know how I fall into it sometimes. So to piggyback for Wellness Wednesday on our talk for Monday, the Motivational Monday segment, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, how to, you know, we said on Monday that it's important to cherish and relish and just pay attention to the small moments in life. You're sitting in traffic and and you could be next to something beautiful and springy that you know makes you feel good and connected and all that good stuff. But instead of doing that, you might <clears throat> miss that opportunity. Well, like a lot of things that are in the self-improvement, personal development genre, a lot of the things that we talk about are easier said than done sometimes, or they seem that way. So I was thinking, how do we make this more practical for Wellness Wednesday? I mean, true wellness, is being plugged into your world and plugged into your life in a healthy and beneficial and on the up and up way, right? So one thing that would keep you from being able to savor um, all of life's moments, big and small, and I wanna use air quotes, big and small, because you know there are no small moments in terms of what resonates for you and what's important to you, but one thing that could keep you from enjoying those moments and just being aware of them is the chatter that goes on in our little old minds. Maybe something, a situation um, from work that you're thinking about. It might have been a conversation or an argument with a friend. And you know where you do that whole thing where you, you, you're thinking about it later and you're thinking what you should have said. And basically, if you experience it like I do, which I think we're all, we're all one, we're all connected, we have similar experiences, <laughs> then it's that tape that's rolling in your brain. And you might not really want the tape to be there. It's good if you're aware the tape's there. But what I wanted to bring to you today was, I'm calling it instant calm. It is a way to stop the tape, pause it, boop, boop, pause it. So you're able to kind of just stop, be in the moment, and to be aware of things, um, beautiful things, all around you. <clears throat> and it has to do with breath, breath control, breathing. It's a breathing technique. Now. With the breathing technique, we could do a lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of techniques out there, and I wish I could source this one for you. This is one that I use, and I find it really useful, beneficial. Uh, I wish I could source it as a good journalist would, but it's just something I picked up um, along the way, and so what I wanted to do is to bring it to you um, now. So when you get centered with your breath, when you get calm, it quiets, quietens the chatter of the mind. So it's a deep breath in, wherever you are, in your car, in your office, um, I always remember Oprah saying that she would be frantic at work and everybody's got a trail of people outside of her office. Everybody wants, you know, something and they want to get a question answered or whatever. And she said at times she literally had to go into her closet, shut the door, and go to a calm place. And so if that's what you need to do, if you need to go into the bathroom stall and shut the door for five minutes, you deserve that. Um, and what you bring back to the table after that moment of the nice breath technique control, you will be a better person, you'll be a better worker, you'll be a better partner, you'll be a better mother, father, sister, auntie, <laughs> whatever it is for you. So the breath technique, all you do, quite simple. Breathe in, full. Now the best way to breathe in is you breathe in with the stomach, let your stomach expand first and then your chest will rise, right? Breathe all the way in. And then you breathe out chest deflates first and then stomach now here's the key a lot of us breathe very shallowly and we're not aware of that when you breathe out you're gonna push all the air out of your stomach you're literally gonna contract your abdominals and get all of the stale air out let me finish get it all out y'all and you can envision well, as you're exhaling, you can envision negativity or anger or frustration or whatever emotions you may be feeling. You can envision that kind of just getting out of it too. That can be very helpful. Um, that's technique one is the breathing in and out. The next thing is to have instant calm. You got the mind chatter going on is to be aware of your thoughts. And the way to do that, they call it being the watchful observer. I think this came from uh, Martha Beck. It's basically where you, you get with yourself and you get behind your thoughts and you watch your thoughts and you, you see them on screen maybe and you say, okay, what is my next thought gonna be? 
what's like almost like watch it like it's it's coming what's it gonna be what's it gonna be so you're watching your thoughts and what that does it kind of kind of calms you silences you and and I think Martha said it this way it creates a gap in the tirade of the tape playing and you being able to have um, a say in what your your mind chatter does and how, how we're using our minds so you you think what is my next thought gonna be and then as you're doing this another layer you can add on to that is to surrender these thoughts especially if you are in a place of anger or frustration <clears throat> or, or non-acceptance something's going on and you, you can't feel peace about it you can accept the fact that you can't accept it and then surrender those thoughts and it's almost like a mantra or a prayer it's like you know I'm you know Oh, my next thought I'm just so angry and I wish I'd said this and I can't believe they did this and blah 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 and says, I surrender that thought I surrender that thought that I wish I'd said this I surrender that thought that I wish that hadn't happened just get it out it's almost like um, I'm thinking uh, it's a different way to expel it from your body just like you would expel your breath like we just did Ugh, get all the air out expel those negative thoughts demon be gone so just a couple of techniques, uh, instant calm, so you can, in the moment, be in the moment, and be aware of all the wonderful things going on around you, especially now, this time of year. Um, nature's blooming. I feel like we're all blooming. Um, who knows what great things are gonna come this season, today, this next moment. But to truly um, be able to capture that and be aware of that and recognize that, take care of your business. And don't let that mind control mess you up. It's one thing you can do. Instant calm. All right, guys. Another thing you can do is watch Sherry's clip below. Sherry Elise, the fantastic Sherry Elise, joins us again with the clip that she did. And it's along the same lines. It's about the big moments and the small moments and the creating a plan and going with the flow. And she'll explain it much better than me. So I'll leave you with that. Happy Wellness Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a great, a great time. Hope the pollen is not killing you. You're going to be fine. We're going to survive. Check out Sherry's video below and have a happy Wellness Wednesday. Y'all be good.